question is a shopkeeper gives four items free of cost with every 21 items and a discount of 25% is also offered on MRP. The shopkeeper still gains 50%. Find the ratio of CP to MRP. Find the ratio of CP to MRP. This problem is known as a cost price and selling price problem. Some it calls as a profit problem, profit cost problem. So it is selling price, cost price and uh, profit. Now what happens is when we talk about selling price and cost price, selling price will always be equal to CP plus profit in case I make profit. Selling price will be equal to CP minus loss in case I make loss. This is the Bible for all your cost price and selling price for nothing more than this. This is the Bible for all your cost price and selling price problems, nothing more than this. But by default, if I say make a profit of 10% means it is always on cost. Default means nothing is mentioned. Here it says 55% profit, till gains 58% profit, it is always on cost. Supposing I say 10% profit means it will be selling price will be equal to CP plus 10 by 100 of CP. This is only an example. So this 10 by 100, I am making a profit on cost price. This 10 by 100, I am making a profit on cost price. Now here is what is happening is, he is selling 21 articles. He is selling 21 articles and giving free of cost 4 articles means, totally is giving away 21 plus 4, 25 items. He is giving away 25 items. He is giving away 25 items. I should be concerned or bothered about the cost price of only 20 articles because as far as the shopkeeper is concerned, he is giving away 25 articles. So his cost on 25 articles is gone. So he is making a profit of, on this 25 articles, we are going to make a profit of 20%, 55%. On this 25 articles, he is going to make a profit of 55%. So because the 25 articles are gone, you will have to be concerned about the cost price of 25 articles. So what I do is I write this as selling price will be equal to 25 CP because 25 items is gone plus 55 percent profit is gaining 50 percent 55 by 100 of 25 CP because on this 25 CP is making more than 50 percent. Now what happens? He is selling only 21 articles. He is selling only 21 items. He is selling only 21 items. The MRP is based on this 21 items. The MRP is based on this 21 items. Don't compare it with 25 items because he is selling only 21 articles. He can take the MRP of only 21 articles. So this will be equal to 21 MRP and is making a loss of 28%, discount of 28% minus 25 of 21 MRP. Now solve this. This SP is not required anymore because 25 CP and 2 equations are there or the equation is there with CP and MRP. I will have only compare. So 25 CP plus 5500 of 25 CP will be equal to 21 MRP plus or minus 2500 20, uh, of 21 MRP. Now this 25 CP is a common element, so it will be 25 CP bracket, so the 1 plus 50 means it will be 100 plus 55 divided by 100 LCM. Similarly it will be 21 MRP and then this is come 21 MRP, 1 minus 25 means 100 minus 25 of 100 or 25 CP into 155 by 100 will be equal to 21 MRP into 75 by 100. Delete this 100. Similarly cancel this out. This will be 3. Or 155 CP will be equal to 63 MRP. Now the question is ratio of CP and MRP. So CP divided by MRP is the ratio 63 by 126, 155. Answer is 63 is to 155. The answer is 63 is to 155. As simple as this. Subscribe to my channel 
I'll be adding questions every now and then. In fact, this question has been asked by one of the students here. My aptitude, aptitude, free class group in Facebook. After free class group in Facebook. So you can become a member here. You can become a member in this group. Post your questions. I'll try to create the video and post it. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding questions every now and then. Wish you all the best.